Alrighty guys, we're out for another day of practice. I put me draw link back to where it was. So we're all back to 29 inches. So we'll see if that makes a difference compared to yesterday. Because God, that was bad shooting. It might just be me. You know, it's doing fine now. Yeah. And let me tell you, I nearly didn't shoot today because I woke up this morning. And uh, old Eddie Bravo, I don't know if you heard of him, but he's one of my favourite jiu-jitsu artists, old Eddie Bravo. I've been watching him ever since I started jiu-jitsu. I just absolutely love Eddie Bravo. All his crazy moves. And um, I don't know if you know, but I'm a bit of a flat earther. Well, I'm not, I'm not 100% on the flat earth, but uh, I'm open to the truth and I'm just open to everything. I'm doing a bit of research and what a... It's a lot easier to prove that the Earth's flat than it is to prove that the Earth's round, and that's a bit crazy to me. But anyway, that's just me. It's just, I don't know, it's just something that I like to look into, and I like to research these crazy conspiracy theories, so... And it turns out Eddie Bravo is a flat earther as well. So there we go, something crazy. Maybe it's to do with jiu-jitsu or something. But then, I find out that, um... So Eddie Bravo is probably one of my favourite teachers and instructors at the moment. He's not a competitor anymore. But one of my favourite, well, the for me, the favourite competitor in Jiu Jitsu is um, probably for me the old Cron Gracie, Hicks and Gracie's son. And um, I absolutely love his style. He's like the master of the basics or the master of fundamentals. Only ever uses like true old school Gracie fundamental moves. He smashes everybody with them, scissor sweeps and crazy old school moves that everybody's doing barrel and bolos. And, Cron smash them with the good old school scissor sweep. So that's a little bit about Cron. So it turns out that Cron's a flat earther as well, and Cron and Eddie Bravo have done a podcast this morning. So I woke up, started watching that, and I was like, oh, I'll put it down because I'll be stuck there all day. It goes for like four hours. So if I didn't put that down, I think I'd be there all day. So as soon as I finish this, you know what I'll be doing, going straight over to watch that video and see what there it's all about. So he's uh, having a podcast with Eric Dubai. He's a crazy flat earther, he's right into the flat earth. But anyway, so that's just a little bit about what's on. So if you want to look up uh, Eric Dubai and Eddie Bravo, look it up because uh, they're two of my favourites. Well, not Eric Dubai, but Eddie Bravo and Cron Gracie are. Anyway, that's just a little bit about what happened this morning. What I woke up to on the old YouTube. So we're gonna get back into it. Shoot another NFA round, 60 arrows. See how we go, gonna get the back tension out. Still keep practicing with that. Keep trying to get the locked in with that. And get into it, I think that's everything. I changed my draw length back, I've done everything. Still haven't glued my weight on, I might do that today. I meant to do it this morning, but then old Eddie distracted me. Let me out of here now. Alright, so uh, we'll get into it, shoot this thing, and I've had no practice. Let's have one practice warm up. This first one's a practice. Put everything's back in from me screwing around with me bow. And then we'll start scoring after that. Let's get into it. Peep sights rotated.
Alrighty, since I've lengthened the draw length back out, I'm not getting the string stuff anymore. I'm getting a little touch. There's a little red mark there, but it's a touch. I don't feel it. So I think I'm uh, side in, maybe a little bit to the left still. So more just a little bit to the left, a little tickle over, and we should be good to go. Let's start scoring. Okay, first scoring in. Let's get into it. That last one went off a bit quick, so the last two went off a bit dodgy. I didn't go off a bit dodgy, I set them off a bit dodgy. There we go, it could be that last one, it could be a four. It kind of really just went straight off. It's hard to see where they are. It's a crazy light today, so I can't really tell where they are. I use a four straight away. Why do I need a four every one time? <sighs> Straight up, straight bloody up. X X X five, stinking weasel four. All right, let's get in the next one. Alrighty, guys, second end. I cannot believe I dropped one already. God, shocking. I suppose it'll take me a while to get used to this back tension. Have a little breather. Stop rushing through them shots, I think. That's the main thing I think I need to worry about.
but that was bad. It didn't do any super bad shots that time anyway. I think they're all hanging around there. Still a little bit to the left. Oh, the first one was wide. So it's still to the left. I forgot to tickle over actually. Okay, so I've got a 5, X liner, X, X, 5. Alright, let's get in the next one and hopefully I remember to tickle that scope over. Okay, third end. I felt like I didn't want to go off, so this front shoulder must have collapsed a little bit, I think. I think maybe sometimes I'm preloading into the shot way too hard. Like as soon as I get the full drop, I'm already just yanking on it. That last shot, I really just didn't. I just had got there and then I started pulling back. Felt a lot better. So I've got five, five, X, X, X. And let's get the next one. Okay, fourth end of the first round.
Well, let's go check them out. Look like the Jehovah's Witnesses are on the round. I want to have a chat with them too because I hit them up about the flat earth. And they're going to come back to me and uh, let me know what the thing was. They gave me a little book. But I wanted to see what they say about the flat earth. Alright, how do we go? That's a bit better. Five X's. X, 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 X. That's better. That's how I should be shooting. Alright, let's get in the next one. All right, sec, first end of the second round. After that one, I had 99 out of 100 because that first dodgy round, that, that ball killed me. And um, how many X's? 14 X's, 14 out of 20, so I dropped six, which isn't very good. But I it's gonna take me a while to fully get used to this new hinge style and this new release that I'm doing. Because all I'm doing is just just pulling back, I'm just pretending it's the the old um, silver back and just trying to relax that front finger just to not not really ridiculous but just not don't keep any tension on that front finger. But anyway that's um, me and the hinge. Fraction low, I think. starting to feel better now I'm really just trying to lock in on that form mate go through the process make sure everything's locked in here we go again oh what happened with this first one ah weasel just out so 5 x x x x so that's not too bad let's get into the next one all right second end of the second round That one just felt funny. I was gonna let down, I was like, God, just let it down, let down, something's not right, something's not right. Bang, I think it's a four.
bit wobbly, I think it went low. That was wobbly as hell as well. Next thing I need to work on is letting down. Let down when it feels dodgy, dipshit. Ridiculous. Oh, 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 did I scrape that in? Oh, I think it's just touching that line. Just. Just. Then we've got X, X, Weasel 5 and a low five. Shocking, okay. Let's worry about getting that form and letting down when it's not going. When it doesn't feel good, let the bugger down. Okay, third end of the second round. I forgot to push record, so I've shot two shots already. Been a bit distracted. Just trying to get good scores again. Get it out of your head, the scores. Just shoot. I think my problem is sometimes too, I try and hold it on the center, try and force it to the center instead of just holding it on the center, instead of just letting it be in the center, I'm trying to really force it into the center. I've got another four. Dodgy four. So I've got X, 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 four. Can you believe that? Bloody ridiculous. All right, let's get in the next one. Okay, fourth end of the second round. Wobbly. I felt a bit of a flinch coming. I was like, oh, half caught flinch. It was a half catch flinch. I jiggled a little bit, but it didn't go off.
Really just got to worry about not forcing that pin around, just let it float in that center. Okay, a lot better. How do we go then? Oh, that's better. X, 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 X. That's a good way to finish the round. All right, let's get into it now and I'll work the scores out and I'll get back to you. All right, first end of the third round. After the second round, I had 99 out of 100 again. And um, 15 X's, so at least my X count's coming up, I guess. I suppose it's gonna take me a while to get used to the hinge. Old uh, young Anthony used to tell me too. Well, he didn't tell me, he used to, this is something he noticed. That with the back tension, you're either dead set in the center or you're dead set way out. There's no in between with the old back tension and I was definitely noticing that today. I'm either in the X or in the four. So let's get into the last round. That one was a bit funny. Looked a bit funny going with the tails off. So something I must have done wrong then. All the arrows stuffing up or something. Maybe I cracked a knock. But yeah, the arrow was like flew in sideways, nearly looked like. Alrighty, yeah, so besides that one dodgy arrow, that weird floppy one, they all felt pretty good. There's the floppy one. But I have X, X, Weasel just five, five, X. Alright, let's get in the next one. Alright, second end of the third round. Let's get into it.
see that one? Didn't go three metres, it didn't count. Um, that one felt a bit wobbly about, a bit shaky, so I thought I'll let that one down. And she popped off right at the end. Alright, so I'm learning to let down anyway. That one felt a bit wobbly, something was off then, maybe I was leaning too much into that one. Put those hips back in the line. Still a fraction of that, I think. Let's go check that one out. It just seems to be one soft spot on the target down that bottom right one. Okay, so I have, oh, just out for a five, X, 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 X. And there's the X that I re-let down and re-shot. How's that right in the center? That's a good let down. All right, let's get in the next one. Right, I've lost count, but I think it's the third end of the third round. Battery's getting low, let's hope it doesn't die. Okay, quick battery change. Now we're still on the third end of the third round, first arrow. I feel like I pulled that one a bit.
Really starting to like this back tension at the moment though, that's for sure. This feels so nice when you get a mad shot. It's just like, Doof! It's so surprising, you don't know what's going on. How'd I go then? High five, just out. X, 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 X. So that's looking a bit better. All right, let's get into the last one and see how we go. Okay, last end. Something just didn't feel right. Alrighty, that's it done. 60 arrows. I think I've dropped a couple. What do I think I... Ooh. Yeah, a couple of weasels. Okay, so I've got a weasel there. And that's a bit more than a weasel. So I've got X, 5, X, 5, X. So let's tally up the tallies and uh, I'll get back to you. Alrighty guys, so I worked out the totals. I ended up with 299, 298 out of 300 so I hit two fours which is oh well I'm learning the back tension I can't got to be happy I'm happy with the good shots I'm not going to be down I'm not going to be turn into one of these archers constantly complain and happy with the good shots the good shots felt great I only had two really bad ones so that's a good thing I think anyway 298 with 42 X's so my X counts coming up still so that's a good thing and I feel so much better with this back tension, no flinching or no panic, just uh, good shots hopefully, good shots to come. So that's it today guys, hope you just liked the video, hopefully Greg will be coming over and doing a live stream, get Greg on the camera, fingers crossed, so that could happen before or after this video comes out depending on the upload speed and what time Greg shows up. So fingers crossed he'll uh, get back into the camera get back onto the screen we'll work out somewhere where we can shoot and get Greg back on the camera all the time fingers crossed but you never know we'll never know so uh, that's it for today guys hope you've enjoyed if you liked it hit the like button for us hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and uh, I'll see you soon in the old in the next see you soon in another video but hit all the buttons first